Hi, welcome to uh, the Doyle booth. Right here, fishy, fishy, fishy. I love fish. Do you love fish? Absolutely. Okay. I'll explain what this little fish is all about in just a minute. I have the pleasure of introducing you all to Keith Gromsbell from Fatal. It's here for Keith. Yay! <laughs> Um, Keith uh, represents uh, a speaker line here that I truly believe to be the best speaker line in the world. Uh, as anyone knows of our company, we can choose any speaker component we choose. And uh, after a little bit of testing, that's all it took for us to recognize this is awesome. Why don't you tell us just briefly about the weatherproofing and the concept of this? Sure. Um, well, Fital comes from the automotive industry. So with over 40 years of building loudspeakers to endure wherever a car might go, and that's wherever a car might go, um, we built those same features into a line of professional audio components, meaning that they're shock resistant, trauma resistant, salt, sand, ocean fog air, corrosion resistant, 100% water proof right out of the box. Let's find out. Well, give it a shot, and I can tell you a little bit more. Go ahead, you talk. Okay, the factory, okay. factory is founded in 1958. It's a family-owned company. We have over 1,000 employees. Uh, we are the only fully automated robotic manufacturing in the pro audio industry. Last year, we delivered over 22 million loudspeakers to the world audio market. Um, we have a number of major brands that uh, use our product here today. Uh, the concept is he looks pretty happy in there right now, but I think Jared has a friend for him as well, yes? <laughs> yes. Yes, <laughs> which is coming from underneath the table. Um, so the idea here is to have a loudspeaker that comes right out of the box that can be permanently mounted outdoors, 24-7, 365 that can be mounted in a swimming pool area because we're anti-corrosive to a number of different materials, be they chlorine, we're UV protected. All of the cones incorporate a paper pulp, but within the pulp, what we do is we mix a variety of semi-soft and solvent materials, and then once compressed and cured, the loudspeakers are waterproof from the front to the back. Um, we're out at many of the major universities in uh, the United States at their football stadiums where these speakers stay up all the time. Um, we're in the Formula One track in Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates. Over four years, almost 4,000 loudspeakers, not one single issue. And we know how hot it could be in the United Arab Emirates. So now for us in Canada, we go from freezing cold outdoor weather to extremely blistering hot weather, to extreme humidity. Uh, we've built systems for uh, wake stock and our good friends at uh, Frontier Light and Sound to where tons of dust and tons of sand hit it and tons of muck. So for our two fellas here, I think they'll be fine. Uh, we should probably have a contest to name them, Frick and Frack. I'm thinking Mario and Flavio, personally. You know. <laughs> That's the director of engineering yeah. and the founder's grandson. Uh, but yes, truly a unique item. Um, when we show people, they're, they're under the impression this is a, a specially prepared unit for this type of event. Yeah. This is a standard unit right out of the box. All of our products go through vigorous I can testing. attest to that. I can attest. This is just one of our drivers. I, the guys are all here. I said, get one off the shelf, yeah? Yeah, yeah there you go. So. So that's it, and we're really proud to uh, be using this, and we believe that this really does give Doyle uh, the edge over a whole lot of other companies. Well, in addition to having these features, though, the um, overall sensitivity and efficiency of the loudspeakers is above and beyond what our competitors are doing worldwide, not in the, just in the U.S. or in Canada, worldwide. Um, we have better musicality, better tonality, a tighter tolerance in manufacturing, because we're plus or minus one and a half dB at the end of the test where... Ridiculously it, smooth systems. We have always had a philosophy with designing our PA back here. Our, our design philosophy is make the set speaker system have a smooth frequency response from the very beginning. And if it doesn't, 
don't put our name on it, it ain't going to happen. And there's been a new uh, number of, of drivers. There's one here, uh, this, this one here. Uh, we've started to use this uh, beauty. Uh, and this is um, a 10 HF 520, ridiculously smooth mid-range. And we're starting to use it right here in this system, which is horn-loaded asymmetrical. We switch from the 500, that sounded great to start with, over to this one, and it's and it's even better. We, I, going more from a mid base to a true mid range. Yeah. And also with the cooling is very interesting. Yeah, let's notice, talk about the cooling here. Yeah. If you notice that every loudspeaker, every loudspeaker manufacturer has a hole in the back, and this is where they'll exhaust the heat that's radiating from the coil, the gap, the magnet. What we did was we um, were granted a worldwide patent on what's called an air exchange cooling system. Each time, if you see these holes around here, Jared, yep. each time the loudspeaker excurts, it draws fresh air in through the inside of the voice coil former, and all of our voice coils are wound inside and out. So it begins to cool the coil on the inside. Upon compression, the air goes through a series of holes in the former to cool the outside of the coil, the gap, the magnet, and the frame. Now so here's a critical difference. With other cooling systems, which have you know been a nice improvement, uh, it's a pole, a center pole piece that's cooling through the voice coil. But this system actually cools through the virtue of it being a neodymium, it actually cools the magnet. Well, it's not the neodymium. What every other loudspeaker does is they have a pole piece that exhausts heat that's radiating. But what, I'm, what I mean by that is that because of its size, you can do it. If there oh, was a large well, we ceramic. This, oh, we could do it with ceramic as well. That's interesting. <laughs> well, that's, that's more to come in 2011. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Keith, thank you very thank much. Thank you, Jerry. All right. Have a great show. Yeah. Uh, we're here to support Doyle Audio Engineering, Day of Light Studios, uh, Light of Day, I'm sorry, studios. No worries. And uh, yeah, we're a big supporter of everything that's being done up here. We're behind you guys 110%. Uh, we, we really appreciate that. That's what we look for is a really great speaker company to work for. It's a lot like, you know, having a McLaren and wanting to have a really good engine in it. So uh, that's where we want to say, start thinking inside the box. All right, thank you. Thanks, Jared. Fish look happy. <laughs>